Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm excited to show you this game from the 2023 World Tournament of War of the Ring. And this is the round of 64. There are 64 players remaining in the tournament. And this is my best of three match against Scarge. And we have begun with me as free people. There are no tokens. It's just the normal base game as written and we will see how it goes. So you can see this opening roll. They allocated uh, one eye and then rolled this ridiculous roll with no musters at all. And I, on the other hand, got a beautiful roll of three movement and a palantir to play this beautiful strategy card. So my roll was excellent and their roll was not excellent. Uh, they can play orcs multiplying again, so that's that's something at least, but not not ideal. All right, so let's start it off. I pass. They draw a strategy card. Okay, these are both playable. So th this is actually, I mean, for a start where you rolled zero musters and three palantirs, actually getting to play orcs multiplying again and shadows on misty mountain, not that bad. I mean, sure, I would I would rather musters. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, they, let's see, what do they do? They move armies from Baradur to Gorgoroth. Okay. I play King Brand's men. Sure. That's an excellent card for me. Last battle and Faramir's Rangers. I love to see Faramir's Rangers. Last battle is not a very common card to play for the card effect, but Daylight is probably the best defensive combat effect for free people. And they're moving armies around. It looks like a Gondor attack at the moment, which is a little surprising because they got orcs multiplying again and shadows on the Misty Mountain, which to me makes for a Lorien attack, but I guess we'll see. Uh, maybe they're just getting ready. All right, I move. Oh, they hit me. All right, one out of six. So that is unlikely. And by the way, this game was quite some time ago, so I don't really remember all the details. All right, so they hit me, a two. I think I lose Gandalf because it's a two, yeah. And Shadows on the Misty Mountain, that's nice. I move again, they miss this time. And now they're moving more and on to Dagger Lad, getting their armies into position. I move a third time. It's a little risky because I don't want to get revealed into Moria, but at the same time, they only have about a 25% chance total to reveal me. A little better than that because it's 50 50 to hit me in the first place and then slightly better than 50 50 to reveal me so it's like maybe 30 percent chance to reveal me here uh they do hit me and they do reveal me <laughs> all right well sometimes that happens all right so uh i think i'm going into moria and it's a zero all right so i would have preferred an eye but at least it's not a huge amount of corruption and then they play lure of the ring all right that's nice this, this is expected, like, to corruption. They get Strider! Whoa! Nice! Anybody else I would have killed for sure, right? Anybody else goes out of the companion, out of the fellowship? And it's still fine. They just did, like, two corruption to me. But um, this is, wow, just outright three corruption from Lure of the Ring. When have you seen that? That is rare right boom three corruption revealed in moria so i was feeling pretty good with my role and now i'm like three corruption revealed in moria and both zero tiles gone i did kill off gandalf but the thing is they did not get saruman so i i can't even get i can't even get gandalf this round oh and they got nazgul strike so when i move out of moria they're gonna do something nasty all right, they allocate an eye, roll one more. And I think they do want that second eye because now they get more rerolls. Um, I'm very happy to use Strider's guide ability. What else am I gonna play? I guess I wanna save, I'm probably gonna use the Palantir, I think for Strider's ability. And then I use my musters wherever I think they're gonna attack. Yeah, Stry hide with Strider. They muster, they got, and by the way, they got their musters. So that's good, at least they're gonna get Isengard. Uh, and then I move, they miss me. It's about 50-50 on four dice. 
Um, I don't know yet that they're going to play Nazgul Strike, but so be it. Um, they get Saruman. They move armies towards Lorien and towards um, Gondor. And I get to play my Faramir's Rangers. That's nice. One hit. And now I have a, you know, a decent defensive buffer in Osgiliath, likely to be able to retreat them into Minas Tirith if that's what gets attacked. I have not spent any time mustering my um, nations towards war, and so they're nowhere close to the Witch King. So I'm thinking maybe Gondor gets attacked. We'll see. Um, yes, so I muster Gondor one towards war so that if and when they attack us Gilead, I can muster even more in Minas Tirith if needed. Um, and now they, and they moved um, their army from South Anduin Vale to Dimmerdale, and now they're going to Nazgul strike. Yeah, Nazgul strike, sad for me. What can I do? All right, they hit me on the hunt. They get an eye revealing me. Again, I'm going to take that one corruption and then revealed and then a one, another reveal at least i'm happy that, that we're getting reveals out of the pool uh and i take another corruption so i'm up to five corruption four movement made gandalf dead all right i'm very happy to see Celeborn's galadrium that's a great draw um because lorian is certainly getting attacked they are at eight dice that's one slight saving grace i guess they allocate and i roll one more and then I get a bunch of Palantirs. I'm fine with that. That's actually, a, uh, right, I want a Will of the West. I'm not fine with that. Um, Will of the West would be great to get Gandalf. And, oh, but I have Mirror of Galadriel. Okay, so so I'm guessing this turn is Palantir, Mirror of Galadriel to get Gandalf, hide with the other Palantir and then move once. But maybe I need to use my Palantir to play Celeborn's Galadriel. Spending two dice, Mirror of Galadriel, meaning the Palantir and the character die that becomes the Will of the West, spending two dice to get Gandalf is not as good a deal as spending one die to get Gandalf. So I, looking at the dice and what's going to happen, I might end up needing to... Um, not get Gandalf this turn. Also, I'm noticing I didn't get any musters, so this army in North Athelion could go all the way to Dol, to Dol Amroth and besiege Dol Amroth. I wonder if that's going to happen. All right. I hide the fellowship. That seems right. They get um, Sauron to war. Oh, sorry. I'm noticing they weren't at war, and they only had one muster. So they're not going to be able to get the Witch King this round, even if they put Gondor to war. So they have been hurting for musters. The hunt has been going well for them, but they have been hurting for musters. All right, I move once because that's going to happen. They miss on four dice. That's about 50-50 again, but good luck for me. And then they move armies. I see. So they see what has happened, and they're going to besiege Minas Tirith going around because I don't ha I didn't roll any musters. All right, I'm passing, I'm passing. I'm, whoa, did not expect that. So I used a character die to move Faramir into Minas Tirith because I just didn't want to let him get Minas Tirith that easily. But I could have instead gotten Gandalf. Wow. I guess I'm planning on... I guess I'm planning on playing Celeborn's Galadrian with this Palantir because I wanted to be able to defend Lorien. Wow, I'm a little surprised by that, but good defense of Minas Tirith. They attack Minas Tirith anyway, putting Gondor to war. Then they play Palantir of Orthanc. Beautiful time to play it because I really want a Will of the West for Gandalf. Wow. Why did I not play Mirror of Galadriel? Like, was that really worth, like that one extra elite, was that really worth it? I could have gotten, what am I gonna play? All right, I play Celeborns, all right. And now they get to use the Palantir to do something cool. Denethor's Folly, yeah, taking out Minas Tirith. 
All right, so I managed to defend Minas Tirith pretty well. I can't play combat cards, but I'm going to have to discard a bunch of cards. What do you get rid of here? Maybe an end. Maybe Path of the Woeses. It's so, so sad to have a full, giant, full hand of cards and then can't even play them in Minas Tirith. All right, they get rid of... No, they're just drawing cards. They're low on cards. All right. I don't know. I get rid of Path of the Woeses and Ents. Okay. Makes sense. Um, and I declare the Fellowship in Lorien. I guess my thinking is I need to heal because my corruption is too high. Oh, oh, Mirror of Galadriel in Lorien. Yeah, I see what I was thinking. Okay. So my plan was just wait. Just wait around. It's like not ideal, but... Like this is a this is a nice, very pleasant way of playing it. And then you feel good about two dice because it's like you're healing a corruption. Yeah, that's satisfying. Like I don't even know if that was optimal, but now I'm like totally. Right? Because I just defended Minas Tirith. I'm gonna get the extra healing out of Mirror of Gladiator. That's very pleasant. Good job, past Ira. All right. Um Fellowship is at zero movement. They did heal one. And now um they allocate one eye, roll another one. I, oh, so I rolled Will of the West and then two character dice and um, an army muster. So, yeah, I, I think that uh, I'm getting rid of the Palantir of Orthanc now because I rolled a Will of the West and I know that I'm going to play Mirror of Galadriel to turn this character die into a Will of the West so that I can get Gandalf. And I guess the Fellowship isn't moving at all, but at least I get to heal again next round. Maybe they're going to come and try and take out Lorien right away, but they sort of already have leadership over at Minas Tirith. I guess they're going to get the Witch King, but maybe they don't want to put the Elves to war before they besiege Dol Amroth. Can they get to Dol Amroth? Yeah, so they can't. They don't have quite enough musters and movement to take out, um, to to get the Witch King and to go besiege Dol Amroth this round. All right. Um, so my opponent is surprised that I used my Will of the West to uh, get rid of Palantir of Orthanc, but um, I guess they don't realize yet that I have Mirror of Galadriel. But clearly, I'm going to. All right. So what do they do? They besiege Lorien. All right. Uh, I, I'm passing. They get the Witch King at Minas Tirith, so they're going to try and take out Minas Tirith first. I'm passing. They attack Minas Tirith. They use Swarm of Bats. And I can't play cards. I, I can't play cards. It's very sad. I have a giant full hand of cards. Two Daylights, Valor, Heroic Death. Lots of good cards to play, but I can't do it. Um, and yeah, Swarm of Bats. Plus one lead, leader on the leader reroll seems fine. They got four hits. That is a good roll for them, above average. I get one hit. Faramir's not doing so well in the siege. Uh, they press, they redraw Uluk High, and then they play Onslaught, getting one hit normally. I get none back, and then they, <laughs> I say Denethor is an idiot. And then they take three hits and get two hits against me. Wow. I had seven hit points in there against nine hit points, and they completely wrecked me. So sometimes that's how combat goes, you know? They did play Denethor's Folly. That's something. Um, but wow. I still, think, I still think that should have held a bit better than it did. All right. I muster a regular in Pilar gear and a leader in Dol Amroth, certainly making it seem like I have Corsairs of Umbar. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's interesting. So, so cool. I like that. I like that play. Past Ira. All right, they're going after Osgiliath. Uh, they get no hits on Osgiliath, and then I retreat to Dead Marshes. 
again making it seem like I really don't need any help down in Dol Amroth. I guess they're just being they're just being pests in dead marshes. I don't know. I feel like maybe Pelargir would have been better. Maybe Druid and Forest would have been better because they might come up towards Rohan. What are they doing in Dead Marshes? They're like threatening to go north of Thillian, I guess. All right. I play my Mirror of Galadriel. Very pleasant. Heal an extra. Get Gandalf. That's nice. All right. Um, they're now starting to move armies around. They're just taking out um, the surrounding area of uh, Minas Tirith. And I get Gandalf. And then they play Ulug High in Asgiliath okay good to reinforce that they're planning on going after Dol Amroth they do have quite a few hit points they're going to need some musters to activate these um, South Round and Easterling armies but hopefully they'll get that uh, I get this is interesting so I'm in Lorien right now I have Elven Rope and Elven Cloaks which are incredibly effective combat cards in Lorien but I suspect they're not going after it right away um I'm probably going to get rid of one of the blue tiles. Yeah, uh, No, I got rid of help them look for. Okay, that's cool. I'm just anticipating an attack in Lorien. They, uh, and I heal again. So now the fellowship is feeling much better. They allocate one eye, roll none. And I get a nice roll, very flexible. Um, I move, I start by moving the fellowship. That's interesting. Why not? chill on that i guess there's no chance of day without dawn yet <clears throat> why not just relax and maybe they're gonna attack lorian and then you're gonna get to play elven rope and elven cloaks i guess i'm not that worried about it as combat cards i'm happy to just play them for their card effect too all right so i start off moving they hit me and they don't um inflict any corruption the hunt has been pretty bad all right so they muster uh, South Rounds and Easterlings towards war, and now I pass? All right. They muster the South Rounds and Easterlings already all the way towards war. I pass again. They're playing back Black Captain Commands to relocate to the South Round and Easterling army, attacking into Pelargir, getting no hits, and I get one back. That's funny. And um, then I muster an elite into Dol Amroth. They attack into Lamadon. I don't play any cards. They annihilate me. And um, I think I'm going to use the Will of the West to muster. Yeah, mustering some. You know, usually you want to use Wills of the West to move the Fellowship, but sometimes you need them for other things. So, okay. Uh, I have managed to defend Dol Amroth. This army in Lamadon is not going to be enough to take it. They're going to have to reinforce from Asgiliath. Um, they do have Shadows Gather, so that will be a very easy reinforcement for them, but I don't know that. So at least I'm trying to defend Dol, Dol Amroth as best I can. And maybe I'm going to draw into Imrahil of Dol Amroth or Cirdan ships and can get uh, Elves to war first, but clearly they're not. They're intentionally keeping the Elves away from war to, before they take out Dol Amroth, which I think is very wise. All right, so they're attacking in Dol Amroth. I go into Siege. They play Shadows Gather now. I might have been a little tempted to attack once, get one little attack in. Um, but, all right. They bring in a good number. And now I that, that army is probably enough. So they probably just can do the reinforcement once and not worry about these four extra regulars in Asgiliath. Okay, I move again. They miss me this time. It's funny. And now they play Deadly Strife to my Daylight. That's why you have Daylight. And they still get three hits. I get only three back. Would have been nice to get more, but that's how it goes. They press. They play Desperate Battle. I have another Daylight. They miss on that, and I only get one hit back, and they stop. So I'm just, I'm just trying my best to survive. I play Thrandall's Archers. Uh, to cycle my strategy cards. I get Wisdom of Elrond, start of next turn. Let's see what happens. What did they do with their last? Okay, with their last muster, they just mustered an Isengard. Okay, I get Ents and Aomer. Very happy to see Aomer. 
they get some nice combat cards as well as ring rates are abroad, which is nice. Allocating one eye, rolling two more. I declare the fellowship out of Lorien because I don't want them to get the reroll. I get three movement, theoretically possible to make Mordor this round. We'll see. They miss. They draw a strategy card first because they have enough Palantirs that they know they're going to have to um, play uh, or you know draw some extra. But that said, they could be playing Rage of the Dunlendings. They could be playing Ringwraiths or Abroad. But it's good to have combat cards to play too, so they cycle into that. I move again. I'm safe. And... They got to be a little worried about the fellowship. They draw a character card now. I move a third time, hit, and revealed. All right. So I can push the fellowship pretty hard and get in. They play breaking the fellowship and draw one. Okay. You know, you might have drawn a three. That would have been, that would have been scary. Um, I think I get rid of a Hobbit, though. Yeah. All right. Hobbit is the least amount of corruption. I hide using Strider's ability. They play Half-Orcs and Goblin Men. Okay. You probably need it. And then attack into Dol Amroth. I play Confusion, maybe hoping to live through it. But no, they get two hits, and I do only one back to them. They press. And... They go bye-bye, Dol Amroth. All right. They did have to play two reinforcement cards, Shadows Link or Shadows Gather and Half-Orcs and Goblin Men. So you put up a decent fight, Dol Amroth. And I used my ring. They hit me. I moved four times. Very rare to see any turn where you manage to move four times. They get a three. Am I going to lose a random companion or am I going to lose Strider guaranteed? I think... A random hoping to draw two but they draw Mary wow so I'm up to five corruption again with four companions that's a little risky um, Mary is now with this army in dead marshes that's kind of fun Mary maybe you can do something cool um, he, he says or they say hmm and then I say okay at least no crew weather because if you have crew weather in this situation you just play it all right, what are they going to do? They must... Okay, they use the ring to play a red tile because they want that in the pool on the first movement. So be it. Now I draw Imrahil of Dol Amroth. A little late, guys. All right. Um, I get rid of there and back again. I declare. They allocate one eye and roll one more, and I get a nice roll. What am I doing here? I'm playing an int card. Why? Just to weaken or think a little bit and get a blue tile in? Okay. No hits on the ents. And then I play my blue tile. Okay. They move armies around. I move once. So I got one tile in. And whoa, and I draw it. Well done. Well done, Elven Cloaks. Low odds. So the hunt pool was, yeah, with eyes being too reveal, it's like not that bad. But all right. They uh, play Rage of the Dunlendings. OK, that's exciting. I move the fellowship again. Now they get the eye for damage and a reveal. I think I take a random here because the difference between three and two, um, the difference between taking one or taking zero is not that big and I'd like to keep Strider. Random, Strider. All right, well, see you later, Strider. Sometimes that's the way it goes. At least you soaked up corruption efficiently. And they move Nazgul's around. I'm guessing I'm going to use a ring this round because I, I feel like I need to finish this round if possible. Okay, they move Nazgul's around. They move towards their threatening Grey Havens. How much am I going to... Oh, elves aren't even at war. 
Wow. Wow, they're going after Grey Havens. It's amazing. Or maybe they're not. I don't know. Maybe they're just taking out the Shire. Yeah. I play Aomer. Fine. They're going to take out Dale. I am going to use a ring. No, I move Mary. What am I doing? I guess I want to get this this regular into Erebor. Am I that worried about that? What other? Oh, no, no, no. Obviously. Sorry. I'm moving Westamnet to Edoras. I mean, Edoras to Westamnet, obviously. Okay. Um, I leave a regular in Edoras. Okay. They draw a character card. Interesting. Next round. Did they forget about the Mouth of Sauron? Did they roll any musters? Did they just forget about the Mouth of Sauron? Did they get the mouth of Sauron? Where's the mouth? What happened? They forgot the mouth? Did I forget the mouth? Did they not roll any musters? Let's check. I'm just going back and seeing what they rolled. I, I'm i moving. What's the... No, they rolled. They had a muster. So they had an army movement. Ar they had an army muster. And they could have mustered the Mouth of Sauron. All right. I guess they figured not worth giving up an attack. If they know that, yeah, okay, that's not that's not crazy. All right. Um, Guards of the Citadel does not help deck. Dead Men of Dunharrow does not help deck. Wow, it's really taunting me. Strider just died. All right, so uh, they allocate one eye and roll two more. And I got tons of movement. So... Uh, I hide the fellowship first. They play a red tile. I play a blue tile. So I'm basically committing to not destroying the ring this round because I think that they're not going to be able to get to 10 victory points. I wonder if I just pass once just to see, but okay. Um, all right, they attack Dale. That's obviously... They, okay, they do two, and uh, I retreat into um, Woodland Realm. They're not gonna, they're not gonna be able to do anything else with this army, but they're at least enough to be able to um, hold Dale. So I think I was counting that they need like one, two, three attacks to take out to get Edoras, fourth attack to get the Shire and fifth attack to take Lorien. So there's no way that they can get to 10 victory points this round. They are at six right now though. I just, we haven't updated it yet. Okay, I move once. Ooh, red tile, wow. All right, so, you know, there are two in there and we got a blue tile last, uh, you know, previously, so not crazy. Um, obviously losing companions, trying to get to Gollum as fast as possible. Um, uh, they are mustering an Isengard. I hide the fellowship. They are moving. Oh, that was lightning. They attack the Fords. Yeah, this is a great time for them to attack because, um, and have I not drawn any scouts this whole game? Holy cow. We're halfway through the deck and I have no scouts. Wow. Um, and now I'm in a tough spot because I only have a muster left. And I don't think I want to use it to get this elite into Helm's Deep. I play a shield wall just to make sure that that regular survives. They get only one hit, so it didn't matter. Uh, I get one hit back. They're going to press, and I go into Rohan. I've already played an Ent. And now they're leaving Orthanc empty. Good read on their part. Why did I play that end? I have no idea why I played that end. Could have just saved it. All right. Uh, they're attacking the Shire. They do not get a hit. That's funny. Uh, but they take the Shire. So so they're going to take Lorien. 
that's two victory points and they're going to take um Edoras. and i think that's why i'm not worried about getting this unit from Westham net into um helm's deep so next round i have to move three times and i don't have strider this is going to be pretty tough especially if i hit if i hit a red tile again another red tile all right i'm definitely using a ring now because i can use one ring this round one ring next round i've got to move draws a three that's nice not revealed very good for me i did have i mean the shelob would be bad but i basically had three tiles that were four tiles that were good i'm counting this three as a good tile this three is a good tile two is a good tile four reveal would have been quite painful two reveal even would have been a little painful but that wouldn't have been that bad um this way now this two reveal turns into just a two because now that boromir's dead um when legolas if and when legolas dies to this two reveal Gollum will become guide immediately his guide ability will uh take effect and then i won't be revealed by that two reveal so um that's good plays candles of corpses now i think that's right because yeah what else what else do they need to play this is a this is some serious corruption they get two damage wow so i'm up to nine corruption and I have two more steps. So I'm hoping, I have to hope that they just do not roll a lot of eyes. Because if they're low on eyes and I have enough movement, I'll be safe. But if there are eyes, that is going to be dangerous. Challenge of the king. Holy cow, do you know that Strider is dead? Don't keep drawing. Like, I drew all of the Strider and all of the Gondor reinforcement cards after Gondor was taken out. Um, ooh, they got Isildur's Bane. And the thing about Corsairs of Umbar, here's the thing. If you draw it early, you get to play Corsairs of Umbar for the card effect, which is incredible. If you draw it late, you get to play Deadly Strife, which is incredible. Such a good card. All right. Um, allocate one eye. I think they're hoping to roll at least a couple. Wait a second. Did they forget the Mouth of Sauron last round too? Oh my gosh. Just going up to see. What did they roll? They rolled one muster. I think, what did they muster? Where did they muster? Oh, did they use, I don't remember what they used it for. Well, probably worth, maybe they used it for Rage of the Dunlandings, or maybe they used it to muster, actually muster. Yeah, maybe they're just getting what they need. All right, this is very bad, holy cow. So I am now in a situation where I am like there's a very good chance I don't destroy the ring this round. Only getting one movement is not good. So I have to what I have to move. They don't they didn't roll any eyes, so that's something. I have to move once. Get the zero, the two, the two, or the three, and then use a ring to move again and not draw the red tile so i think i'm just going to start by moving see what happens please something oh gosh okay so i'm in trouble i know for sure i cannot destroy the ring because i just took one reveal damage golem is guide also like corruption is an issue they could just win the game by corruption they have they have Isildur's Bane and Orc Patrol. Isildur's Bane just wins with anything. Basically, I mean, the twos don't automatically win, but. All right. So one question for Shadow is, can they just win the game militarily? They attack once in Lorien. Then they attack into Westmnet, then they attack into Edoras. What can I do? I have to basically muster in Woodland Realm and then retake Dale? What else can I do? Okay. Um, or 
Did they just win by corruption? They, there are multiple ways that Shadow can win this, or at least has chances to win it. All right, let's see what they do. Um, 18%, I said, to roll zero or one movement. All right. They're going to... What? They're playing Horde from the East? Wow. So they they foresee all of this. Do they count the number of attacks? So this is one, two, three attacks minimum, and then two movements into to get into Dale. And they have one, two, three, four, five attacks plus a ring. And maybe they'll remember to get the Mouth of Sauron. Or maybe they have intentionally not gotten the Mouth of Sauron. All right. I don't know that I would have done done that, but that is cool. I think that's probably the right play. Um, and I'm passing here because I'm like, maybe they have horrible things to play on the Fellowship, but I can only hide once. I mean, what else can I do? Yeah. All right. So they're moving armies. I just have to sit and wait and see what's going to happen. They are reinforcing Pilar gear. Okay. They have merged up in Dale. I guess this army in Lamadon is going to pull our year so that so that maybe maybe um, Pip and uh, Mary and these two Gondor regulars can't come take Pilar gear. All right. Um, so now they only have three attacks. I might have been a little yeah. I guess they want to wait. They want to wait on um, on taking out Lorien for the last die probably. Okay, so they play Isildur's Bane now. Why? But now they're risking not winning militarily this round. Or at least not getting the mouth, right? Because they need these three attack, two, three attacks plus a ring, plus I think you want to use this as the mouth. All right, anyway. So Isildur's Bane gets a two. I am up to... 11 corruption. Wow. So a the three or maybe Shelob would have just won the game outright. And now I'm sitting at 11. And now I think what I have to do is either hide or play Bilbo Song. And I know that Orc Patrol is out still, so I think I play I think I play Bilbo Song. So I stay revealed Play Bilbo Song. Heal two. Okay. And I think that's right because then the the two doesn't kill me from Orc Patrol. The three still kills me. Shelob potentially can kill me. But if I hide with the ring without playing Bilbo Song, then uh, this two also is a deadly is a game losing tile for me. So I think that's why I stay revealed and play um, and play Bilbo Song instead of hiding there. And then next turn I just have to I just have to roll two character dice or two movement. I just have to. Um, okay, so they're attacking Westham Net. I don't play any card. They kill it. Um, I muster in Rohan. They attack Edoras. I muster in Helm's Deep again. So basically, I just need Lorien to hold. That's my only hope. They have left themselves with two attacks into Lorien. Beautiful. This is really well played on their part. I have almost no, I have no counterplay against Dale. They just have to take Lorien. I have seven hit points. They have 13 hit points, close to double. It's pretty close. I do have some good combat cards. I could inflict some damage on them. They're playing a character card. I'm guessing I'm going to start with charge. Right, because I know this is a long, a long fight. Wow, they didn't play Orc Patrol. Right. So the thing about Orc Patrol is that that three wins the game, and maybe Shelob wins the game. You didn't want to save that? You didn't want to play Corsairs of Umbar first? Huh. Okay. 
Well, I charge. Charge gets one. All right, one helps. They get two hits. I get two hits back. This is not looking good for me. They press. They draw into Morgul Wound. Not like that's good. The benefit of Morgul Wound is then they can play it right now, putting me at 10. And then as long as they roll a single eye, no, then they can use a ring next round to put an eye into the pool and guaranteed to have at least two, uh, at least two eyes in there. All right, so I play Confusion here against whatever this strategy card is. And the thinking is to play, conf the reason why I play Confusion here is because if they're playing a strategy card that gives them some benefit, uh, the plus bonus to their leadership reroll. If you can get ones on their combat roll, they don't get to reroll those. So um, I'm just hoping that they're going to roll some ones. Confusion generally inflicts damage on them, but confusion is actually subtly a way of saving you hits because if they roll ones, those don't get rerolled with leadership. All right, let's see what happens. They get one one and two hits, and then they miss on the, um, miss with their leader reroll. So that confusion saved me half a hit because that one didn't get rerolled and otherwise would have been half a hit. So I take two, not great, but maybe could be better. All right, I get five hits against them. That's pretty awesome. And then, uh, Okay, so that was quite a bit of damage done and they're not able to continue the attack. Um, and the elves are still not at war because they've just been attacked twice total, once in Lorien at the very beginning and once later. All right, so it looks like Lorien holds. That's what I needed. And... Um, I move, oh right, yeah, I did have possibilities for military victory. If I had, um, if I had moved, I guess, Mary towards Dol Guldur, or like this one regular, this Northern regular towards Dol Guldur. Huh, interesting. Okay, so I'm I move towards Fords of Eisen, and I move Mary towards Eastumnet, and now my opponent has a choice of how to proceed. They play Morgul Wound. All right, so I'm at ten. Now eyes are deadly. Maybe I'll get. Um, oh my gosh, the Great Albany! I have literally drawn every Strider card. I th I think that is all of them. Oh, wow. The game was just taunting me with these character cards. Okay, um, so this is definitely going to be the last round of the game. They allocate one eye. They roll three more. Are they going to be able to get to 10 victory points? It's not obvious to me, actually, how they get to 10 victory points. I can possibly get a military victory. That would be kind of a crazy way of ending this. All right, so what do I do first? Do I, try and, do I move this into Orthanc? I feel like if if Shelob hits me, I'm dead anyway. I probably hide. I guess my thinking is hide. My, my best chances are probably hide with this, then move. If it's a two, I'm fine. If it's a zero, I'm fine. I mean, that's not great. That's not great. Maybe I go for military here. They didn't, oh, they're gonna have to use a ring to muster into Dol Golder. All right. So, all right, um, what am I doing? I, I am going for military. They have to muster into, um, into Dol Golder. I get the elves to war with a muster just to temporize, I guess. 
They're drawing a character card. I hide the fellowship. What are they doing? They're moving armies around. I attack Dol Golder with Mary. Oh my gosh. These two regulars came from where did they come from? Oh, what? Right, that's Faramir's underlings. They started in Osgiliath, and then Minas Tirith got attacked first, and then and then Osgiliath got attacked next. So these guys retreated all the way up Druidan Forest, east of that western Brownlands, and now attacking Dol Guldur. You're a bold man, bold man. Mary. The thing is, I don't have any rings, so it's not it's not actually a real threat, um, but it's kind of funny. All right, so what am I thinking here? Am I thinking I didn't want to try and destroy? I didn't want to try and destroy the ring this time because it was too risky. I only had a one third chance of doing it because the the, the two and the zero are okay, but the three, any of the eyes and Sheila probably kills me. And so I'm just gambling on Shadow not being able to finish it. And they've already used their ring. Now, one question I have is, why didn't I muster into the Woodland Realm? I don't know. I think I was thinking there's no way they can take it out. What what if they had attacked Erebor? I don't understand this move into Dol Guldur. I think better just muster into Woodland. Do I not have elves? No, I have elves. So why not muster into Dol Guldur? I mean, muster into Woodland Realm. This is definitely a mistake on my part. I should not be attacking Dol Guldur. It's not a real threat. I think I must. the right thing to do is muster into Woodland Realm. And then if they attack in Erebor, I can use the elves to attack out with that last character die. And, and otherwise, if they attack into Woodland Realm, then there's no... Like, I have another elite in there. Why am I not mustering into Woodland Realm? Whew, okay, well, I guess I was thinking six hit points. That's fine. They can't do six hit points with only 10, with only with no elites. All right, so they move all 10 in. Because the dwarves are not at war, they, they don't have to leave any, anybody behind if the reverse were the situation, obviously. All right, this is... All right, so I muster an elite in Carrick. I don't know what I was thinking. And then they attack, and they obviously are going to play Onslaught. I mean, what can they do? Right, I'm like, I'm an idiot. They can definitely get six hits now. They got four sixes. Oh my gosh, four sixes. Holy cow. Four sixes, I get two hits back. I am, I have got to be kicking myself right now. What was I thinking not mustering in there? Wow. Wow. Okay. And now they have four hit points and I'm down to two hit points. So they just need they just need two hits on on four dice hitting on fours. Wow, what a game. And they only get one hit. Oh my gosh. Crazy crazy i should have had an extra elite in there it almost cost me the game wow okay so <laughs> this game is giving me a heart attack what what a game what a game all right and oh and now i just drew mithril coat and sting okay so they we roll they didn't add any eyes oh my gosh look at this situation they didn't roll any eyes, they don't have any rings, and they rolled zero Palantirs or character dice. 
So I actually have time to play Mithril Coat and Sting. There is literally nothing. Okay, they have to roll, they have to get Shelob and the three to stop me. Holy cow. Crazy, crazy roll. So, okay, so I just win because. All right, so I drew a card. It doesn't matter. I guess I was trying to draw into. Um, I was trying to draw just in case because I have so much time. I I was just seeing in case I could draw. Um, there is another way, and then even this three is not deadly. So then it's like a hundred percent win rate, but it's still very high chances now. Um, what a crazy game. Okay, so. Uh, I play Mithril Coat and Sting, and now whatever they're doing, it doesn't really matter. I move, and it's an eye, and because they only rolled, it's, since they didn't roll any eyes, all of those eyes were safe. And it's a ring victory on turn 11. Holy cow. What a game. So that was a pretty bad mistake on my part by not mustering into Woodland Realm that almost cost me. Um... And then Lorien held. So one one stronghold held. Um, Dol Amroth fell pretty easily, relatively easily. Minas Tirith fell relatively easily. Um, so, wow, wow, wow. What a game. Okay, let's look at some statistics. And we can see that... Are these reversed? Yeah, so free people and... Um, Yeah, these these die roll these dice are reversed. They were minus five on sixes. That's pretty harsh. They they were plus four on attacks and minus three on eyes overall. Generally a good thing. Um, I was high on character dice, which which was good overall. Um, wow, what a game! Great game, and we'll look forward to game two of this match in the round of sixty four. Have a good day.